You can customize your widget's appearance based on conditions you define. For example, if your data is below a certain threshold, you can display a red background, and when it's above the threshold, a green background. Let's take a look at our NASDAQ feed to see how this works. To use conditionals, you need two snippets, the condition snippet and the conditions target snippet. In our widget, we have a few text blocks, and this red arrow then indicates our stocks have dropped. According to our conditions, when the number is two or less, we display the down arrow image. Now if it's higher than three, we display an up arrow. So where are we getting this number from? Let's go down to our data class. The value of the text determines the direction of our arrow, that is, when our conditions are triggered. So if I change this to five, for example, we see that the arrow has changed to up, as five is higher than three. We can take a look at one of our templates, too, and see that this can be based on dynamic data. In the bottle template, we have conditions set here, and further down, we see the condition data class once again. Below it, we have a placeholder that refers to data from the panel. If we had some data in our panel, we could use it in our widget. As we don't, let's just change this to a static number, say zero. And now I see that bottle has turned to red. If I change it back to a higher number, I can see Botto has changed to green. Conditionals are a very powerful feature for tracking data and displaying the status of a given data set.